rates were were a five and a half percent, inflation was at two and a half. I mean, that, that's three hundred basis points of tight interest rates. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Look at people's mortgages. Look at house. Uh, look at car purchases. Nobody could get access to credit. Look at credit card rates. It was too restrictive for the economy, mm-hmm. and they need to cut it because they also need to roll their interest payments and they need to refi their debts at lower rates. Bitcoin Zella stands out with its simplicity and clarity. We've crafted an experience that anyone can dive into, whether you're a crypto expert or just a new to the crypto world. Now, guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us, and we read every comment, and the best part, it's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. Raul Pau, founder and CEO of Real Vision, shares his macro outlook and why he thinks we're headed for an economic singularity with the rise of AI. People, are, there's a large group of people who want their justice. They want the system to fall apart, to say, I told you so. You're printing money, you're creating inflation, you're doing this. It's all unsustainable. And they don't want to see that what's actually happening, this 8% debasement, is basically all of us being charged 8% for a put option on the system, which is actually maybe not that bad. But they don't want to see it. And then a lot of people who aren't invested in technology can't stand the fact that it outperforms versus what was deemed to be the right way to invest, which was the the um, value investor, the cyclical commodity, deep value, that thing. And that's not been working for 30 years, but yet they wanted to come back. So they get more angry as markets go, and then they start drawing patterns about how it's going to crash. Well, markets, A, unlikely to crash unless it's further out the risk curve. But markets don't crash when the business cycle's picking up. They crash when the business cycle is slowing down and let's say the ISM crosses 50. It never happens at this point of the cycle. So really, there's no real rational argument. And the Fed are cutting rates now. They're pushing liquidity into the system. The market's buoyant and the ISM is going to start picking up all the forward-looking indicators are. So it's really difficult to argue that there's a bubble and it's going to pop. And when we get to the bubble argument, something else they miss is they look at price earnings and they say, see, price earnings keep going up there. It's getting wildly expensive. But price and earnings, if you remember the story of your earnings and house prices, house prices are always going up more than your earnings. Well, what is price earnings? It's the share price, which is driven by debasement, and corporate earnings, which are driven by GDP growth. So over time, as we add liquidity into the system, the everything code suggests that price earnings will keep going higher because of this dynamic, but people don't understand it. So they look to a world of the past. Now, this has actually all been done before. This is not a brand new thing. After World War II, this is what they did. They used yield curve control as a way of stimulating the economy. And they they essentially grew their way out of it by refinancing the debts. And we had exactly the same four-year cycle back from about 1948 to about 1968. So we had 20 years of it back then. Previous Bitcoin halving cycles have been followed by BTC's price rallying explosively. This phenomenon has made most cycle analysts in the overall market expect a parabolic price rally after every event. According to a recent BlackRock report, BTC's value has risen by 592 since its debut in 2009. Subsequent exponential returns were recorded after each of the past three halving events too. In 2013, for instance, BTC saw 555x returns, while in 2017 investors saw 104x gains. After the 2020 halving, it posted another 21x returns and the trend is expected to repeat after 2024's event. However, Charles Edwards, 
founder of crypto VC firm Capriol Investments, believes this might be the last halving event that drives a parabolic BTC rally. He said, this is the last halving cycle that matters. Edwards argued that the next halving cycle won't impact BTC as it's already the hardest asset, with a very low inflation rate below gold. The next halving won't matter much because the inflation rate of BTC is below gold, so a massive price drop won't affect it much. Edwards acknowledged, though, that the current cycle is not yet priced to mid-potential nation-state adoption. However, he noted that the halving cycles will be irrelevant by 2028. You're not going to get massive price rallies because the halving events are so well known, and the BTC mining industry is so efficient now. I think the four-year halving cycles will not be relevant in four years. Here it's worth noting that market cycle analyst Stock Money Lizards projected a possible price target of $200,000, $260,000 per BTC for this cycle top. This could happen by Q4 2025. In short, there is still more room for BTC growth before it hit this cycle top. The world's largest digital asset retested $66,000 on Friday and was valued at $65,900 at press time. That puts it only 8% away from its range high at $71,000. And this was my work that I did over COVID when I started to think about debasement of currency and then my and then started to think about the exponential age of technology and where this is going. And you reach the moments like, oh my God, this is all one thing. You know, we have rising markets that's creating more capital, that's flowing into technology, that's driving technology. We've got the fastest pace of technological change in all human history, and the central bank has taken out the big risk to the downside. So suddenly, the data tells you to become an optimist. It tells you that we're in secular trends, particularly in tech and crypto. So even though they're volatile, every low is higher than the last. And when you look back, they've outperformed everything. Even though you've had that volatility and you're like, why was I so stupid? You know, really, I could have just bought NASDAQ when I started my career and I'd have done much better. But the narrative is so alluring around the the macro collapse. Mm -hmm. And the fear keeps so many people out of markets. And there's a whole bunch of people on X who've made a whole living out of the fear of collapse. And I know you've been caught up in that in the past. And that fear of collapse stops you investing. It stops you buying a house. It, and look what happened. Your future self did not thank you, your past self, because you missed it all. And I've done that. You know, I didn't own equities at yeah. all. And yeah. when I look back, you're like, what is stupid? Mm -hmm. But I didn't really understand. I didn't really understand what I know today. And now we've got all of these forces working together, this hyper acceleration of technology global central bank liquidity that's forcing stuff up over time. Um, and then the fact that they've taken away the largest side of the risk of markets and the inflation bogeyman is just a bogeyman. It just exists in the dark places of your mind because it's very difficult to generate inflation in this world. They will tell you that, well, now the latest story is well, obviously, you know, every year there's a different story why energy is going to go to $200 a barrel, why it's all going to come to shit and why inflation is coming back. Every year is a different narrative. Now it's like, well, it's the AI data centers. We're going to run out of electricity. It's going to be infinite demand for power. And oh my God, this is the most inflationary thing. They'll be wrong again, as they've been every single time. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin BTC has been comfortably moving north lately with the cryptocurrency managing to climb above $66,000 again. Now, while this pointed to an optimistic turn for the king coin, the market might soon take a U-turn in the coming days. This could be the case, especially as a multi-year bearish pattern appeared on BTC's chart. Data shows that the cryptocurrency had crossed its long-term moving average, breaking key resistance levels. Thanks to that, BTC's price rallied above $66,000 on the charts. After it crossed $66,000, more than 49 million BTC addresses were in profit, which accounted for over 92% of the total number of BTC addresses. However, the bull rally might end soon. Ash Crypto, a popular crypto analyst, recently shared a tweet highlighting a multi-year bearish head and shoulder pattern on BTC's chart. The pattern emerged in 2021, 
and at press time, the coin's price was approaching the neckline support of the same pattern. As per the tweet, a failed test of the support could result in a massive crash. And do not forget to subscribe to Bitcoin Seller. The most important news will reach your inbox on a daily basis and for free. I do not know why you have not subscribed yet. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you on your financial journey. Until next time, happy investing!